Hey what's going on everybody this is Oasis back with another tutorial so just want to let you know guys that I'm starting a new series of tutorials I'm gonna show you how to use Adobe Photoshop which is available on iPhone okay so this is what you see when you start your Adobe Photoshop app from iPhone and then what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna show you how you can sign into your Facebook Twitter and your creative cloud account right so once you're signing the benefits of signing in that you can just bring the pictures from there you can sync those pictures directly to those apps let's have a look at the camera app first so i'm gonna tap on the camera app now and in the camera as you can see that i've got very basic camera app here so i can just zoom in by sliding this up and down okay so i've got this timer available here if you want to capture the image after three seconds ten seconds and I've got my flash settings available and camera rotation available. So this is pretty basic. Let's go back. And what I'm going to do now, open my image from my iPhone. So tap on your iPhone and here I've got a few images for this tutorial. If I tap on any of the image, it's going to open that into the app. So this is the app now. Okay, so on the top, we got a few options there. You can see that I've got my close. So if I make any changes, if I close that, it's going to ask me that if I want to save those changes. The next button we got on the top is called undo button. So if you make any changes, let's say I'll change the filter to autumn, right? And I don't like it. So I can always tap that button and go back, okay, to original. The next is the auto enhance button. If you press that, it's gonna auto enhance that image. The next we got our history button, okay? So let's say you bring that image, you made a lot of changes and you're not happy with that, okay? So you can tap that and look at the difference between those changes and your original image. The next we got Creative Cloud. You can just sync your images to Creative Cloud and next we got sharing button, okay? This is where we can save our picture to camera roll, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All right, so let's have a look at the app now. Down below we got filters, crop, some filters here as well. We got red eye removal. We got some frames. We got this patch option, okay? So let's have a look at the first one. Right now I'm using the normal filter. So I've got a few filters available here, vibrant and I can change the value of that filter. Let's say if I just bring that down, it's gonna decrease that vibrant. It's gonna increase those vibrant, right? So let's go to our next filter. So to bring it back, just tap the undo button. It's gonna bring that picture back to the original, okay? These are all the filters available and I would say that this is the best photo editing app available on iPhone and Android as well. And we got some premium looks here available which are free. They call it premium, but these are basically free. My looks is basically you can customize your filters and make them as a filter. So if I make any changes to the picture and I wanna save that as a filter so I can do that by tapping that press button, you're gonna name it and then you're gonna save that by here okay so let's go to our next option we got here what I want to do is undo and bring my pictures at the original position let's go to the cropping option the cropping option is pretty straightforward this is the first option by default is straighten okay so if I just move my slider up and down you can see that if there is a problem in the image you can straight it down and the next we got our rotational okay so we can rotate that picture to 90 degree okay so you can just keep going Okay, the next we got flipping option. If I flip my image left to right, right to left, and we got next option is top to bottom, bottom to top, and then I'm gonna bring that back. Okay, so now we got some cropping preset here. If you tap on this button, here you got unconstrained selected, so which is basically let you select the crop whatever you want to select okay so let's say if you don't know the exact size of a iPhone image in the portrait mode so you can select that device crop which is basically gonna give you exact size what is used on iPhone okay so you can select that and then once you're done cropping you can just tap in the middle of the crop and move the image to select the exact part of the image what you want to crop okay so let's go back here we got a lot of presets available we got 16 by 9 8 by 10 10 by 8 okay so the next we're gonna go and open the new image so once I tap on close it's gonna ask me do you want to save the image well I don't want to save now so I'll bring another image now so I'm gonna select that image now the next option we got some um, filters available so if you want to apply some clarity to the image you can apply that you got your sharpen available here is going to get you zoom in and then you can have a look at the image okay 
I'm going to apply the sharpening now. As you can see, that it's applying that filter, okay? So these are all the filters available, which is really cool. The next option we got here is the red eye removal. If you got a portrait image and your camera captured the red eye, so you can simply tap here, red eye auto detect and correct, it will remove that red eye from your picture. The next we got some frames available here. We need, we need black, beveled, beveled black, all those filters are available here so you can check them out. You don't need any other app. If you know how to use this app, it's enough for photo editing on iPhone. The next option is called patching, okay? So if you have any portrait image and you want to remove some pimples or some marks on your face, you can just tap there and it will try to remove. As you can see that if I want to tap here, it will remove that. Okay, so as you can see, it's going to patch that area of the image. Okay, so next we're going to go and save this image. Save to control camera roll. Tap there and it's going to save that there. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.